So speaking of next 48 hours, 50% chance, still 80% over the next five days. You see that hatched area that includes the southeast Texas coast. I'm going to turn the water vapor loop on and get a little tighter in on this here. Not very well defined circulation with that just yet, but as it continues to push southward, uh, we should start to see that get a little more uh, intensity strengthened just a bit. Obviously, water temperature, a big factor in that. It is all above that 84 degree mark. So we've got plenty of gas out there, so to speak. So let's watch it. This is the American model. Notice as we get into Friday, moves it just off of the coast of Louisiana. And here's going to be a big player potentially as well. A cold front or a stalled cold front may help to tug that low up in towards Louisiana. And in fact, this is what the European model was showing yesterday. Notice the American model is now getting on board with that as well, which would keep us, for the most part, on the outside of things. However, still has a potential for East Texas to see some substantial amounts of rain, but it look at it's really cut things back versus that 10 inches that was bullseye right across Matagorda Bay and in towards Galveston yesterday. The European model has been fairly consistent, does the same thing, basically pulls that up into Louisiana by Saturday and Sunday. That also would lead us on the outside looking in both of those scenarios certainly good news for us but of course it is still early we will continue to watch it very carefully if we need to make adjustments we will do so for your weekend forecast but as i mentioned before cannot stress this enough do make sure you've got your hurricane kits and plans set before mm -hmm. you gotta scramble and do all sure. that we saw what happened in harvey with that and that, that you don't want to mess with the crowds